car coming through from the O. And uh, right now I'm headed to Osaka Castle. And we're gonna go out there and see what it's doing. Uh, I got a lot of requests to do it, so I'm gonna uh, hit y'all up with this information. Let's go. So this is what it looks like from the south side. It's the outer moat. These are little birds here. These giant steps about to go up here. This is actually my third time coming to Osaka Castle, and uh, this is actually the first time I've been to this side of the castle. So this is all new to me. Um, it's nice. It's pretty much garden territory. There's really not much going on besides nature, but that's pretty cool anyway. I heard there are a lot of plum trees out here, and you know that's that's what everyone's coming to admire. So let's go. This is a map of the castle area. We are here. So it's pretty spread out, as you can see. And here we have a shrine across from the main castle area. So how about the one there? Yeah, and that's there to show you it's the year the horse. And this is what the temple looks like. They got the statues here. It's also here. And then they got a statue. So here we got food. We got lots of food here for the temple. So then on the other side, that's where the main gate is. That's where we're going. Here we have the inner moat, and there's no water. No water. We have some entertainment. The castle front. So this is the main keep. I got green and gold colors, amazing architecture. If you want to go in to the right hand side, there is the uh, line to enter. They have an archery spot here that you could uh, shoot arrows. They're like rubber arrows into the target. Pretty cool. And they got all these uh, souvenir shops. today. So here we are on the west side of the tower and um, this is what it looks like. That's Osaka City. The central city right there. So up there is the observatory. That's what that looks like. I'm talking to my friend right now and we're talking about how amazing it looks outside Osaka Castle. How amazing it looks from the outside but once you go inside it's a completely different feeling. Like this looks historic. When you walk inside, it's wooden everything, wooden panels everywhere, elevator, they have uh, everything encased in glass, and we were kind of just like, uh, it's a shame, it's really a shame that they did that, because you really don't see that in a lot of castles in Japan. You get more of a historic feeling when you do that, so, but I don't know why they did it, but they did it. We're not even sure if you want to go inside. It's like a 20, 25 minute wait to walk in there, so. We haven't decided what we're gonna do yet. Got some, some dancers at the castle, doing what they do. Trying to get it. Just taking a stroll, that's what it looks like. That's the castle right there. Kind of distance ourselves a little bit. So here we are at the Plum Tree Forest. This is what it looks like. Well, oh, I can't speak. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Everyone's taking pictures and trying to get by. And I mean, there's photo shoots going down over here. But it looked really nice. And this is what it looks like from the north side. Uh, again, there's the outer moat. There's the mountains in the back. So we have we have an owl here. Wow, amazing. Oh, that's so so cute. So going. That's what it looks like from the north side to the castle. Beautiful scenery. 
know why, but this tree right here is super pink compared to the rest of the trees. Just has it going on right now. So we're leaving without going inside because the line was too long. And plus, like I said, I didn't want to feel disappointed from paying the money to get in there and just look around at the wooden glass object. So if you want to see Osaka Castle then I suggest you at least see it once. I've seen it twice, so there's no reason for me to go in there three times. And uh, there's nothing really exciting for me to film, so um, except for maybe the cityscape, but yeah, sorry. So now we're headed to somewhere else. We're probably going to get something to eat and then play some Monster Hunter or something. I don't know. So let's go. So now I'm on the east side of the castle grounds, and this is what it's looking like. Lots of trees. Very nice place to come if you are into nature and want to escape the urban landscape. On the southeastern side of the castle park, they have this little fountain area where everyone just relaxes and chills out. It's pretty nice. I'm at Mori no Miya Station and we're about to go find something to eat. I'm looking for beef bowls. I want a beef bowl today. That's what I want. Let's go find that. So we're at this temple and uh, this is Mori no Miya here. This is what it looks like from the outside. So they have this here. They have this part. And that's it. It's a small one. So we're at Matsuya right now. This is what we're eating. I got the uh, grilled pork with onions and miso soup. Yeah, add this to it. I love this stuff. It's red ginger. So I'm done with that. And that was at Matsuya. Uh, Matsuya is a chain spot that's found all throughout Japan. So. Now I'm about to take it to a coffee shop, so let's go. There's a jam session going on behind me. I didn't want to videotape them directly, but that's, that's what's going on over there. They're doing it up in the street. They park the cars and just start jamming. And we got sports going down over here too. So now we're headed up north to the, uh, the business park area of Osaka. Uh, this is called the Neya River. That's Osaka Castle over there in that area. This is where we're headed, the business park. This is the other side of the bridge. And there is where uh, the water taxi is. There's the castle right there. I'm gonna have to get into more information about that. We will definitely be riding that in the near future. Huh. That's a first. Playing Monster Hunter for a few hours now in the McDonald's as they bump the Samba beats. So believe it or not, we uh, spent a couple of hours up in there playing some Monster Hunter. We got it in, and um, now we're trying to walk back to the train station so we can say goodbye and everything. You know, it's, it's been a cool day. The sun went down and now it's kind of cold. So let's go. So I don't know what's going down over here, but there seems to be a concert going down at the, what is this? Brava. Theater Brava. I don't know what's, what's going down over here, but there are mad girls out here just talking about what they're talking about. And uh, we're just walking through. I don't know what's going down. If anyone knows the name of that concert that went down, today is March 23rd. No, today's March 22nd. Anyone knows the name of that concert, please let me know. That's what that's that's what that's doing right there. So I'm home now and I'm just gonna relax and cook some dinner, call it a day, and just, you know, edit and chill. So thanks for watching and I will catch you the next time. Doo -doo. What up YouTube? This is Ricky Ricky Hot. What up, YouTube? This your boy, Ricky Ricky Hall, coming from Oh, 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 oh.